Are you videoing? No, I'm not. I'm just holding the phone to your face for no reason. I'm still not awake. You're night. never awake when you come over. No, it was a long night. It was a long night. It was a long day for me yesterday. Yep. But we're here. <laughs> and it's an awesome day. Yeah, no, it's... No clouds, no bad weather. Have beautiful out. a long time. Good day to put a motor together. Or start, at least. No, we're going to get it together today. The whole thing. Yep. I think you got some high hopes. We'll get close, I think. No, it'll be done today. You think? Yep. All right. I'll take your word for it. All right. You're the you're the legend, man. <laughs> like what you say goes. All right, guys. So what we're going to be working on today is uh, Christian's motor for the S15. I'm um, taking a break from working on the car, and uh, we're just going to get this guy assembled because now we have everything here, uh, minus torque converters, still waiting on that. But we'll touch on that later. So, we got this guy unwrapped. Got it kind of cleaned off here, and uh, we're just going to jump right in and start doing some assembly. A little bit more on this. Uh, like I said, this is the old... Piston rod combo out of the original six liter that was in the Volkswagen. So these are a set of diamond pistons. Uh, standard bore. It's got Cali's Comstar rods. This is stock bore, stock stroke. This is the crankshaft that came with this motor. And it's got ARP main studs. And I'll have everything else is ARP. And then as we assemble it, I'll go more into what we're doing and what it is. So uh, as you can tell, we got some, we got some domers here. Engine builder thinks that's about a 5cc dome. But yeah, we'll touch on that more as we assemble. Hey, go get some parts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's inserting the shaft. What did he say? Hey. Oh. oh, yeah. Nice and tight. So what this is, this is a uh, camshaft from Tick Performance. This is called their Stage 3 Polluter Cam. Um, I don't remember the specs off the top of my head. I'll get some more sticky icky on here. Oh yeah, nice. I know. I know it's like low six hundreds lift, and I think it's like two, two thirty nine, two forty four at fifty. On I think it's like a one eleven plus something lobe separation angle. So. But this is the old, this is the camshaft that came out of the original 6 liter. Are you ready for more thumpy thumpy than your little sloppy stage 2? All the lope. I want all the sound. That's going to have to idle. It's going to have to idle at a grand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like the old Volkswagen, just like Dustin's car. Dustin's car idles at 1500. <laughs> timing set on we got uh christian got all the new morel lifters and the ls2 trays in and uh now we're getting ready to put our ls9 head gaskets on so pretty straightforward deal on that make sure front is to the front not back is to the front i was expecting some dirty comment out of you no i'll keep it pg okay So I'll get that one on, and Christian's already got the heads cleaned up, but then uh, we'll just go over one more time with them before we lay them down and start bolting them down with the ARP bolts. So, it's coming together quick. This guy it's doubted getting, it. It's getting there. It's getting there, bit by bit. I'm, I'm excited. I'm not I don't know. Yeah. I don't know! We're back on that. Got a well, almost stuff. Well, it's almost there. Oh, son of a... <laughs> All right. Payback. So we've jumped forward a little bit. Uh, we got our balancer on. 
Timing cover on for the third time. Yes. Last time, maybe. Had to go find nuts for the winded stray because the ARP is a different thread pitch and size difference than the original stuff. Uh, now we're getting ready to slap the pan on and go dig in the trailer for your water pump. Yep. And we had to order new head bolts because these ones have been used a half a million times and there is... Where'd that one go? Oh. That's somewhere in there. It's all stripped. So some of these, the very ends of these are starting to get galled up and there's uh, like three or four of them that I've installed on this side of the cylinder head that were like pretty bad so I just decided to go ahead and just order new ones just so I don't have to worry about it possibly pulling the head the threads out of the block which if we did that we're screwed aluminum man can't trust it less weight so yeah we'll get this pan slapped on and water pump and then we're pretty much done for today getting there are you getting got excited? a lot Got a lot done today. A lot more than I thought. Hey, she got the keys. Yay! Yay! All right. I don't remember where we left off. Uh, none of the front stuff was on. Oh, we were putting the oil pan on, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were okay. getting up to that. Yeah. So, as you guys probably watched, because I think I did some cut screens, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. we got the S10 swap oil pan put on, and then uh, went ahead and put our LS3 water pump on, which is a big help that this is on this side. Yeah. So, yeah, as of right now, we have the PRC. Heads just sitting on here with a couple head bolts because uh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but we're waiting on new ARP head bolts because they've been used. These ones have been used quite a few times and might as well just put new fasteners on a brand new engine. So those will be here on Tuesday and uh, we should be able to button that up and then drop it down in the truck and then we're just waiting on a torque converter. So. Bit by bit. And then I got my quad t torn apart. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's all. Time to, put a clutch in. Time yeah. to put a clutch in it. So, all right, guys. Well, I will see you in a couple days. Four to six weeks later. Okay, now it's two days later. And we got some new uh, head bolts from Summit overnighted. And I want to show something which I thought was really cool that ARP finally did. Let me grab an old one here. So, as okay. a lot of you guys know, it, they they do both of these smooth on both sides i don't know how well you can pick that up yeah yeah that's clear so of course this side's your bolt side and then this side would go to the cylinder head and you as everybody should know that you want this not to spin on the cylinder head as you torque it down because if it does it gives you an, an incorrect torque reading so now arp has done Let's this they put like a uh, lean into the side a little bit there we go you kind of see it They've added some roughness to it, so now this will probably actually bite into the aluminum and make it to where the washer ain't going to spin, so that way you get a perfect torque on, on the bolt. I'm curious to see if they implement this into, like, everything that they sell now, because as you can tell, like, these are a couple, only a couple years old, and it doesn't have that, so that's cool that they actually keep doing this. Anyways, we're going to get the, all the head bolts lubed up and everything put down in here and then we'll start torquing everything. And, uh, yeah. Then we're done. Say that one more time? Then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Christian is uh, putting the last of the ARP lube on the little bolts that go here and here and here and here and here and, here, and those will get torqued to 25 foot-pounds. Uh, we already went through and torqued all the big bolts in increments of 25, 50, and final torque of 80. This side's already done and taped back up. And then uh, once he gets done with that, we'll put the rocker arms on and lay the valve covers on it and call it good until we get some more goodies.
super secret squirrel stuff. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna be nice. You guys just wait. Good old Turd Ferguson. <laughs> I wonder if that name will start sticking now. Maybe. Unless y'all have different ideas. I'm open to ideas. <laughs> I kinda like that one though. It fits. The brown projectile. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We have one completed all aluminum LS motor. Pretty spiffy, huh? It is indeed. Are you excited yet? Very. You don't sound excited. I am. Sound like can't, you can't hear it, but I am. Been, been waiting a while. All right, ladies and gents, we're gonna finish up the video here. I uh, should have some more special goodies later on this week for this, and uh, we should be dropping this in the truck here later this week, too. So, make sure to keep your eyes peeled for some new videos. I got more videos coming out on this and some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, make sure to keep it crazy. Sorry, I get easily distracted. <laughs> I'm like a cat. It's, it's like a ball of yarn. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> Alright, anyways, keep it crazy. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later! I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world's mind? Please, Lord, give me a sign.